I've got Gabe and Noah from Gateway Drugs. What's going on, guys? Thank you for having us. I got your album probably about a month ago, and what struck me right away when I heard it was that this doesn't sound like an album that was recorded this year. This sounds like something that came right out of that fuzz sound. Cool. Were you guys going after that? Definitely. Like, just kind of our influences, you know what I mean? A lot of experimental music, a lot of noise music, so we just kind of incorporated that with kind of a pop formula, what we do, kind of rock and roll, just kind of went from there. You've already played with three bands that are huge influences <laughs> on you. I mean, listen, you know, the bar is set really high for you guys because you've already opened for the Jesus and Mary chain, you've opened for Ride, you're on tour with Swerve Driver. What do you do from here? I mean, I guess we, uh, we hopefully keep touring with great bands that we respect, you know? It's got it, it's got to be nice when you're when you're on a bill with a band that you've been listening to for years, and when you're done your set, you know you could towel off, sell some merch, and then actually go have a good night and watch yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jesus Mary Chain were one of the bands that like changed our life musically. So just to even play with them, share the same stage was just so surreal. You guys are brothers, and you also have a sister in the band. Um, yeah, Liz. Your, your sister sang with uh, with Will. How was that? Yeah, she had the opportunity to sing um, just like Honey, and it was just like, I mean just amazing like we all felt her nervousness through all of us like vicariously we're just as nervous as she was you know what I mean but she did an amazing job and it's like once in a lifetime type deal you know first time in Canada first time first time how do you like it we love it we love it it's we're having amazing. a really good time the people it's are wonderful amazing. really friendly and so thank you everybody yes thank you um, being a band that is from LA um, what is it like to try to claw your way through that scene and get noticed? Because I know it's a tough scene. At least hard. Everybody's kind of in competition with each other and not in a healthy kind of camaraderie competition. It's kind of just who wants to step on everybody else and kind of get further in the echelon of, you know what I mean? But for us, you know what I mean? We just want to have fun and we have a lot of friends that are in really great bands and there's a really cool scenes going on, like really cool DIY independent, you know, like Burger Records and Lollipop Records and Manimal and other cool stuff like that. So it's, you know, you just kind of do what you do. I mean, we're not really too worried about getting noticed or this. It's just kind of like go up there, play our music, have fun, and people like it, people like it. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. <laughs> well, what's your craziest um, story so far on the road traveling as a band? Oh, uh, Seattle. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Seattle. What happened in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened? I kind of don't remember. I was just kind of like, what happened in Seattle? Uh, there was a woman that came to a show, and she was oh, dancing yes. in the front row the whole time, and uh, she was very, very kind, very kind, and I didn't get a chance to meet her yet. No, and Libby, I met her first. Yes, yes, and let's just say she was very loving and wanted to do unspeakable things to all of us yeah. back at her place. So it was, you know, very flattering and very uncomfortable at the same time. I take it you didn't take her up on her invitation? No. Maybe next time. One day. Maybe next time we're in Seattle. But, uh, yeah. So Seattle's known for, um, for three things now. It's known for great coffee. Mm -hmm. It's known for the birth of brunch. Mm -hmm. And it's known for the opportunity for a very wild threesome or foursome. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's next for you guys? Um, we do tonight with Swerve Driver at the... Um, Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And then we go to Ottawa tomorrow and back to Toronto. And um, you're obviously going to work magic spells like crazy? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we are. And then when we get back, we're going to start demoing for a new album. Already? Yeah, as soon as possible. Yeah. Nice. So you're going to uh, do the, the kind of the kiss thing, put a record out every nine months? Yes. And hopefully even, you know, if we can do it sooner, do it sooner. You heard it here first, Gateway Drugs from Los Angeles. My prediction, band's going to be huge in two years. You heard it here first. Guys, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. See you soon? Yes. All right. Tell me.